on mental patients, the CIA inculcated the desire in these people to open fire on schoolyards and thus inflame the anti-gun lobby. This plan is well underway and so far is working exactly as planned. This plan must not succeed. Well, Let me just stop here for a minute because look at how they've they've continued to do the Sandy Hook, mm -hmm. the Boston bombing, uh -huh. the kid in California that stabbed a few people right. and shot a few people. Yeah, they're disarming the public just the way he knew about before '89. It's amazing. It is amazing. Well, I'll continue. Okay. Due to the wave of crime sweeping the nation, they will convince the American people that a state of anarchy exists within the major cities. They are now building their case almost nightly on TV and daily in the newspapers. When public opinion has been won over to this idea, they intend to state that a terrorist group armed with nuclear weapon has entered the United States and that they plan to detonate this device in one of our cities. The government will then suspend the Constitution and declare martial law. The secret alien army of implanted humans and all dissidents, which translates into anyone they choose, will be rounded up and will be placed in concentration camps which already exist throughout the country. They're now called FEMA camps, by the way. They are each one mile square. Are the people whom they intend to place in these concentration camps destined to make up the reported batch consignments of slave labor needed by the space colonies? The media, radio, newspapers, TV, and computer networks will be nationalized and seized. Anyone who resists will be taken or killed. This entire operation was rehearsed by the government and military in 1984 under the code name REX84 and it went off without a hitch. When these events have transpired the secret government and or alien takeover will be complete. Your freedom will never be returned and you will live in slavery for the remainder of your life. Wow! That's really heavy duty. <laughs> Back to Bill's book. Today, MJ-12 still exists and operates just as it always has. It's made up of the same structure. Six from the same positions in governments and six from the executive members of the Council on Foreign Relations and or the Trilateral Commission, whichever you like. The majority agency for joint intelligence is publicly known as the Senior Intelligence Group, SIG. In closing, it is most important to understand that the Council on Foreign Relations and its offshoot, the Trilateral Commission, not only control, but own this country. Long before World War II, they were instrumental in helping to decide policy for the United States government. The Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, and their foreign counterparts report to the Bilderberger. Almost every high-level government and military official of any consequence since World War II, including presidents, have been a member of these groups. All American members of the Trilateral Commission have either been or are members of the Council on Foreign Relations. Each foreign nation of any importance has its own offshoot of the Council on Foreign Relations, and the members of each country interact with those of other countries through the Bilderbergers to further their common goals. The foreign members of the Trilateral Commission belong to their respective organizations. Even a cursory investigation by the most inexperienced researcher will show that the members of the Council on Foreign Relations and the Trilateral Commissions control the major foundations, all of the major media and publishing interests, the largest banks, all of the major corporations, the upper echelons of the governments, and many other vital interests. Their members are elected and appointed because they have all the money and special interests behind them. 
all that is except the people. They are undemocratic and do not in any way represent the majority of the United States of America. These are people who will decide who survives the coming Holocaust and who does not. The Bilderbergers, the Council on Foreign Relations, and the Trilateral Commission are the secret government and rule this nation through NJ-12 and the study group known as the Jason Scholars and the top echelon of government which consists mostly of its members. Throughout our history, the aliens have manipulated and or ruled the human race through various secret societies, religion, magic, witchcraft, and the occult. The Council on Foreign Relations and the Trilateral Commission are in complete control of the alien technology and are also in complete control of the nation's economy. Eisenhower was the last president to know the entire overview of the alien problem. Succeeding presidents were told only what MJ-12 and the intelligence community wanted them to know, and believe me, it was not the truth. MJ-12 has presented each new president with a picture of a lost alien culture seeking to renew itself, build a home on this planet and shower us with gifts of technology. In some cases, the president was told nothing. Each president, in turn, has bought the story, or no story at all, hook, line, and sinker. Meanwhile, innocent people continue to suffer unspeakable horrors at the hands of alien and human scientists who are engaged in barbarous research that would make even the Nazis look like Sunday school children. As if that is not enough. Many people end up as food for the insatiable alien appetite for biological enzymes, glandular hormonal secretions, and blood. Many people are abducted and are sentenced to live with psychological and physical damage for the rest of their lives. In the documents I saw, one in forty humans have been implanted with devices, the purpose of which I have never discovered. And this was in 89. Just think what's happened since. Right. The government believes that the aliens are building an army of human implants which can be activated and turned upon us at will. You should also know that to date we have not even begun to come close to parity with the aliens. Is this technology worth it? So at the end of his book, Bill comes to four conclusions. And he says these conclusions are inescapable. Number one, the secret power structure believes that because of our own ignorance or by divine decree, planet Earth will self-destruct sometime in the near future. These men sincerely believe that they are doing the right thing in their attempt to save the human race, meaning them. It is terribly ironic that they have been forced to take as their partner, an alien race, which is itself engaged in a monumental struggle for survival. Many moral and legal compromises were made in error and must be corrected, and those responsible should be made to account for their actions. I can understand the fear and urgency that must have been instrumental in, decision, in the decision not to tell the public. Obviously, I disagree with this decision. Throughout history, small but powerful groups of men have consistently felt that they alone are capable of deciding the fates of millions and throughout history have been wrong. This great nation owes its very existence to the principles of freedom and democracy. I believe with all my heart that the United States of America cannot and will not succeed in any effort that ignores these principles, those principles. Full disclosure to the public should be made, and we should proceed to save the human race together. Number two. We are being manipulated by a joint human-alien power structure which will result in the total enslavement and or destruction of the human race. We must use any and every means available 
to prevent this from happening. Number three, the government has been totally deceived and we were being manipulated by an alien power which will result in the total enslavement and or destruction of the human race. We must use any and all means available to prevent this from happening. Number four, something else is happening which is beyond our ability to understand at this time. We must force disclosure of all the facts, discover the truth and act upon the truth. In any case, we must force disclosure of the truth or no matter what happens, we will surely deserve it. The situation in which we find ourselves is due to our own actions or inactions over the last 44 years. It is our own fault, and we are the only ones who can change it. Through ignorance or misplaced trust, we as a people have abdicated our role as the watchdog of our government. Our government was founded of the people, for the people, and by the people. There was no mention or intent to ever abdicate our role and place our total trust in a handful of men who meet secretly and decide our fate for us. In fact, the structure of our government was designed to prevent that from ever happening. If we had done our jobs as citizens, this could never have happened. Most of us are completely ignorant as to even the most basic functions of our government. We have truly become a nation of sheep. Sheep are always eventually led to the slaughter. It is time to stand up in the manner of our forefathers and walk like men. I remind you all that the Jews of Europe marched obediently to the ovens after having been warned, believing all the while that the facts could not possibly be true. When the outside world was told of the Holocaust occurring in Hitler's Europe, it was not believed. I state here and now that Hitler was manipulated by these same aliens. Well, that's some incredibly heavy-duty stuff to try to get through your head that all this happened while we were being locked out of it. We were being purposely, purposely intended not to know. And uh, I think it's the most important information that was ever given out. It was given out in this book that we just read. You can see from uh, things that are published that the CFR is still in control of the government. The Trilateral Commission is there and the Bilderbergers are there, still doing what they always did. And the plan that he outlines for us is being played out. We're moving toward a military dictatorship. The FEMA camps are built. And those things do exist. All right, well, let's stop now and let's sum up what we've discussed in this podcast. Um, first of all, Eisenhower met with the Tall Greys and basically surrendered to them in the form of the treaty. And in that treaty, we said we would build bases for them and give them free range on abducting humans and whatever they wanted. Yeah, it sounds like a good deal. Then we uh, did get some technology, so we could build them their underground bases. Right. <laughs> this was very expensive, so the U.S. government got into the illegal drug market that it now continues to control, and which is run by the CIA. Right, because they need extra money to pay for these underground bases that they're building for their treaty partners. Right, and all that under the direction of the CFR, the Trilateral Commission, and the Bilderberg Group. Right. We then learned we have bases on Mars as part of Alternative 3, and we know we are being systematically killed by Alternative 2. So, countless projects and divisions were set up to gaslight us on the alien situation. The CIA and NSA were started because of it, and many projects like Snowbird were designed to deceive us. Not to mention Google. Right. We know many underground alien bases exist. Aliens control the CFR, the Trilateral Commission, and the Bilderbergs, and these organizations control the governments and corporations, and these organizations control us. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us for this episode of The World Beyond Belief. Uh, so, that's it for now, and until next time, be nice to each other.